Hello, good afternoon, good morning or good evening wherever you are around the lacrosse world. Welcome to the Southern Box Lacrosse Winter League. Uh, first box league running out of the United Kingdom. Rob Gooch with you all afternoon. Alongside me here is John Pordham, going to be one of the match officials today. Hi John. Uh, we, we, are in, we are in Oxford. We are at the Oxford Academy School. To the side of me is the 3G pitch we're going to be playing the games on today we've got one of the teams already warming up it's going to be a good afternoon it might be freezing outside but the action inside is going to be red hot John this is a long time coming this box league what are your thoughts oh, I'm looking forward to it it's uh, over 75 players have signed up for it four teams the inaugural winter league southern box lacrosse uh, it's going to be great great to get it going in the UK yes we have four teams competing here over four weeks four game days each game day sees two full international games of lacrosse. That's played over four 15-minute periods with overtime if scores are tied. For this tournament, overtime is going to be limited to a single period of five minutes. If it's still tied, we'll be going into penalty goals, and we all have penalties. Uh, weeks one, two, and three is a round robin. Every team plays everyone once. And then week four, we'll see the third and fourth place teams battle for third and the first and second place teams battling out for the grand final. Week two is next week, a week today, Sunday the 18th. Week three is then after Christmas on Sunday the 8th of January and the final is Sunday the 15th of January, all hosted here in Oxford. Before we introduce the teams, a massive thanks go to our sponsor, uh, Portham Investments, Media Reduction from Lacrosse Live UK, and our league partners, UK Lacrosse, Northern Soul Sportswear, uh, they've give, all have been a massive help making this event happen. So, John, uh, teams, I'll just hand you the mic. Thank you. Who do you fancy? Thundercats. First game is Thundercats against the Steelheads. Any uh, Thundercats? Any who stands out for you in the Thundercats squad? Oh, well, this should be good. You've got some old heads there in the form of uh, Alan Keeley, obviously from uh, from previous world and European tournaments playing out there. So he should be uh, and and David Leach, uh, obviously wavy. Coaching the coaching he's coaching the them heads. absolutely. Um, you've got um, steel heads, uh, obviously Rob Ingram Clark coming off the uh, the coaching from the the Euros gold gold medal winning coach. Um, but there's some big names on both sides, so this one should be a close game. Uh, for the viewers, there's a few players who are not available today from both these squads. If I just list those players who would not be in action today, starting with the Thundercats. Uh, number 14, Gabby Rowe, is not available today. Number 15, John Sirithis, is not available today. Other than that, the Thundercats have their full squad available. On the Steelheads, uh, number 23, Sean Wright is not available today, neither is number 81, Fiona McLean, 86, Alex Tiano, and 91, Will Barry. But it's tough, it's a tough to call, this first game is going to be hotly contested, I think, and it may come down to goals, to, to, to penalties, which will be really interesting. A uh, little bit of background about how we started the league. So, the coaches, the 14 coaches, and the managers all applied to be part of this league and we selected four pairs of coaches and team managers so as John has said Rog, uh, Robin and Clark and Matt Marsh are the co-coaches of the Steelheads and uh, David Leach is the coach of the Thundercats with Andrew Fernando acting as team manager players then registered for the draft and we had over nearly 90 players sign up for the draft uh, including six women so Today, unfortunately, the two women in the squad today are not available. We will see them in action next Sunday. Uh, and actually, women's lacrosse is growing big in the UK. Within the Southern Box Lacrosse program, we've run monthly sessions, mixed sessions, men playing, women playing, women playing by themselves, coaching. And it's all headed up by Lizzie Bottrell from the Hitching Club, all leading towards, hopefully, a predominantly UK-based squad going over to Shebox, the tournament in Prague uh, April next year so <clears throat> the squads again a little history about the Thundercats so the Thundercats is our newest franchise formed this year uh, 
highlights from the BoxFest tournament we held here in September. You were here for BoxFest, John. Talk us about BoxFest. Can you remember the action? Uh... Not really. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were too busy twiddling your finger Absolutely. in the air. I, I was, you know, <laughs> being, a, being a newer ref there, I was pretty much focused on uh, yeah, hand signals and getting things right. Yeah, actually, refereeing, you, you recently went over to uh, Boxmania in Lille. That's right. And I believe you're going to the tournament in France, beginning of the year? Yes, uh, Transalpine Cup as well. So, you know, with it being such a small sport, you've got to try and get the floor time in where you can. So, travelling to Europe doing those tournaments and then having a league like this start as well is just great I think we've got half a dozen uh, UK box lacrosse referees now so uh, enough to manage a tournament like this fantastic just past me was David Leach the coach of the Thundercats I will grab him if he comes back I will have a quick word see how he's preparing his his squad oh he's going the other way we'll catch him probably either in a few minutes John's going to come and get him. David, better known as Wavy, and he come. Thundercats coach, uh, how have you prepared your team? Really badly. <laughs> really, really badly. I thought I was going shopping to Tesco's, but now I'm here. <laughs> no, we're good actually. We've, uh, we've gone through a couple of things. Zoom chats, can't get one together. First time here. Bit of a chuck about. Quite impressed, but we'll see how the game progresses, won't we? Who should the viewers be looking out for, especially start with, uh, with, with defence? Who should we look out for putting those big hits in defence? Oh, crikey, you can't really call that one, to be honest. Everyone's just as good. I mean, you've got a couple of England boys on the squad, but from the guys I've been playing with in France and uh, all over Europe, really, half, half of these guys are meat sticks, so I, you can't. I can't see a weakness. And then yourself, you'll be in attack. Uh, you've got possibly a potentially dynamite righty attack line up there. Talk to us about your, your righties you've got today. Well, everyone's got skills in that. We've got, I think there's uh, two England boys in their squad, which is what, Will, number four, and who's the other chappy? Da -da 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 Kai. Kai, Kai, ooh, yeah. So those guys really know what the hell they're doing. Then you've got Johnny, he's, even though he's had no sleep, on the right-hand side with me. And then, yeah, being ex England myself, it's going to be solid. The only weakness that I can see at the moment is we've only really got one lefty attacker. We'll see how that progresses, but, and our goalie, well, get on him, but he's, he's, he's not a goalie. Yeah, so Jack Taylor, the goalie, his first major box experience was at BoxFest last September. Yeah, yeah. He did end up on the winning team that, well, yeah, during that yeah, tournament. Yeah, so I'll give him points for King Beans, and if he does what we're asking him to do today, he should be good. Right. We'll let you get on. Good luck. We'll catch you after the game. I've got with me here uh, Tom Roach, the coach of the Knights. Knights playing in the second game today. Be here early to catch the, the early action. What are your thoughts on this first matchup? We've got the Steelheads and the Thundercats. Yeah, it's going to be a good game. Been very impressed by the, the Thundercats this morning. Um, they've got quite a lot of talent there. I was sceptical about their, their draft process, but the, the coach was very full of himself and it looks like uh, for good reason. So they look really good. Steelheads, a couple of injuries, but a really strong goalie. So it could be an interesting game, actually. It could be quite close. And we are obviously here in Oxford. You've been here now a few times. England used this a number of times as part of the build-up for the very successful European Championships. Uh, for those who don't, don't know, never saw England, done quite well in the Euros. Talk to us about England. How, they, how do they do? Yeah, we won it. We won it all. Um, undefeated at the tournament. Great team, great group of guys. Uh, I, I can't say enough positive things really about it. Um, everybody played incredibly well, and and it couldn't have gone any better. Some some kind of historic wins for the program, and we really hope that you know that that coaching and everything can trickle down to to the rest of the English lacrosse community and British lacrosse community through this league. So yeah, it's a great summer for us really. And speaking of coaching, as a coach, you might be getting up early this morning on the west coast of Canada. Yeah. Uh, Walt Christensen, he, he said he might be getting up, it's about half past five I think in, in Canada, a word for Walt? Um, well you get up this early for fishing Walt, so you don't know no excuse for, uh, to, but to watch the league. No. <laughs> Thank you Tom, now a quick word on the Knights, so you're up, you're up on the second game. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, is everyone available? There was a bit of late drama. You possibly have a goalkeeper issue. Talk to us about goalkeeping. Yeah, so I mean, we, I would say we were already underdogs for, for our game. We're playing against a pretty stacked uh, team in the Hornets with lots of England players and, and the England coach, uh, domestic coach Andy Downing. So I, we knew we were up against it. We've um, we've lost our goalkeeper Elliot Pugh this this morning. England's most capped player, so a big part of our team. Um, we're going to put some backup in in there and, and see what we can do. But for us, it's going to be about all three games, not just a, about this one. And um, you know, as long as we can get our fundamentals right today, I'll be really happy and and, and positive about the longer term ambition for us. Uh, and Elliot, it's it's sickness, I believe. Uh, nothing, it's not an injury; it's sickness that he's away today. Yeah, that's right. He's got a chest infection, basically. Well, I wish you all the best, and we'll speak to you again probably before the second game. Yep. Thanks, Tom. Fantastic. Number 17, Dave Groves. Number 40, James Snow. 42, Pete Smith. 62, Pete Shepherd. 77, Harry Parker. Number 80, Ben Stowe. 83, Ross Farr. 85, Laura Hasso. 88, Sam Perry. 89, Stephen Knight. 92, Julius Bocker. 93, Josh Carr. 94, Paul Kuhan. 95, Bob Grimberg. 96, Ryan Oscar Hughes. And 97, Ian Murray. They are the Spearheads. And the home team, Ferguson. They are the Thundercats. <laughs> Number two, Jack Taylor. Number three, Johnny Howard. Number four, Will Alsop. Number six, Ben Stafford. Number seven, Ben G. Turkey. Number nine, Dave Terry. Number ten, Paul Miller. Number eleven, Andy Fernando. Number twelve, Alan Feeney. Number sixteen, Essex Schutt. Number seventeen, Francisco Vasseos. Number eighteen, in their coach, David Leach. Number nineteen, Austin Holgate. Twenty-one, Dale Hoxton. Twenty-two, Kai Jeffries. Twenty-three, Jamie Powell. Twenty-five, Harry Norton Smith. 21 Bruce Piper and 29 Alex Cummings by the Thunderheads! Number 3 is over to you! And we are for the first time ever Ready to call for three hours of box lacrosse. Starts now. And we're off. Thundercats first up with it. First shot for Stillheads, well saved Jack Taylor. Seems to have 10 seconds to get over halfway and that's over halfway. And then in the corner you'll see the shot clock, 20 seconds, they have 30 seconds to shoot, otherwise it's a turnover. Jamie Powell with the ball to Kyle.
Ty Jeffries. England link up there. Je Shot and now reset the clock. Shot there, good save, Ben Stowe. Now the reset. And there's a goal. Good finish there on the righty side. Thundercats come up with it. Jamie Powell with the ball. Just a note on the Thundercats. Charlie Aubrey will be wearing 1-5. Charlie Aubrey will be wearing 1-5 for the, for the Steelheads. Sorry for the Thundercats. There's a shot picked up by the Steelheads. Oh, there's a break on. No. Good decision there. Fast break wasn't on. Now get some settled possession. It's Dave Groves working behind the goal. Oh, he's in the crease. And saw the floor. The ball's caught up in the goalie's pads. Yes, it is. We have to help it out, and we're off again. Thundercats coach Leach coming down with it. He's on the wrong side of the floor, but save, good save. Jamie Powell's looking lively this afternoon. Over to Leach. Couldn't get it back. Just missed. Connect. Didn't connect on that pass. Oh, he's caught up in the netting, but he's still got it. Ball's loose. It's going to be a 10 second count soon. That's the 10 second count. You've got to clear it over the halfway within 10 seconds of retaining possession. Ball goes to Thundercats. Jeffries back to Powell. Good pick in the back there by Jeffries. Oh, it's it's this is a break. It's on. We have a goal. Louis Alhage. Nice finish there by Al, Al Hayes. Scores tied, one each. <laughs> Still heads come up with their 80 Perry. All stop coming down. Howard on the ball. Looked inside. Oh, nearly connected with uh, with Leach. Chance there. Uh, still heads could have had a fast break, but. Neither team are really sharp getting new players on. That will improve as this series goes on. There's a shot and a save. Taylor with the save. Haxton bringing it down. Jeff 
referees working on the left. There's a shot there, and there's a goal. Nice inside finish there from Jeffries. Just took his, see the replay, just took his man to the right. Little pick inside. Didn't need much of a pick to get that space, and he found the corner. Good goal. Hit on the boards there, that's all fine. Good physical stuff. Ian Murray there putting the big hit in. Scottish International. We have a goal. Sneaked through there, let's have a look at the replay. Sam Perry with the goal, let's have a look. There he cuts inside, behind the back, all cheeky. Through the legs. We don't have a game clock on the feed, but there are just under nine and a half minutes left in the first period. Still heads come up a bit. Pete Shepherd, another Scottish international, 62. To Perry, 88. Groves. Down to the coach, England Clark, he rips it off the post. Over to Perry on the left. Another shot off the boards. Who's coming up with it? Still has come up with it. Back to the top. Back to the coach, England Clark, onto the chest. Easy save there for Taylor. And little Sop comes down the floor with it. Both teams do a full shift change. Offense off, defense on. Howard going through the middle, let him through there. New shot clock. Leach, no angle, he's gone for the shot. No angle there. Hard to score at that sort of angle there. Easy save for Stowe in the goal. Rocker took the ball down, off to uh, al -Hage. he's inside, they're inside, another shot. Thundercats can't clear with it. That was Reese Piper clearing, oh, we're behind the back nearly. Holgate with it in the corner. Thundercats need some players on the floor, they've only got, now they've got their full complement on. Slow shift, slow change there from the Thundercats. Oh, nice. That's Jamie Powell. Let's see it again. This comes in from the top. Little shimmy, round the player. Straight down the middle. Oh, that's good finish, but you defense need to put a hit on him there. He can't just walk through like that. 3-2 to the Thundercats. Loose ball. Who's going to come up? Thundercats. That's Fernando picking up that loose ball. He's there because he's our team manager for this league. He's doing a great job as well. Get this team organised. And they're starting well. Jeffries on the left. To Howard. Swing it again. Oh! Goal. Howard. From range as well. I think Stowe would want that one back. Yeah. 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 Find a 
Cuts ball with Powell. Is he going to rip? He is, and he scores. <laughs> Jamie Powell getting it done there. Defender sitting off. Gave him all the time in the world there to score. 5-2 to the Thundercats. Still has come up with it. Oh, there's a big hit. That's, the, that's their coach, Leach, hitting the floor. There's action on the boards. Oh, that's, that's into the crowd. That's into the studio. No damage done. There's still heads ball. Al Hayes over to Groves. Down to Perry on the right, on the lefty side. It's Al Hayes. Oh, good, a good save there. Thought he was in there on the on the on the edge, coming in through the back door. Good save there by uh, by the goalie. Taylor, good save. Jeffries bringing the ball down on the left side. Looking to swing it. Swings across to Keeley. See if Keeley's going to run mostly O or D today. He can do both. Back to Keeley. Pick it up. He's got to pick up the ball there. Coming up to the last five minutes of the first period. Stuhead slowing it down. It's been frantic stuff. They need to use a bit more patience, use the whole shot clock. Running up and down is just never going to last the whole game. There's a great shot, but a good, save, even better save from Taylor. Action on the boards, who's coming up with it? Should be the Steelheads in it. The Thundercats are in it, and it. One-handed ground balls don't work in box. Got to get two hands on it. That's good work there from Morton Smith. He done well there. Leach, crossfield, Howard, shot, save. I don't have Steelheads 84 on the team sheet, so I can't tell you who that is. I will find that out at the end of the quarter. Oh, in off the post. Goal there from Dave Groves. Turned his player. Strong, yeah, good finish. People probably a bit unsighted with that one. Thundercats ball with Powell spinning and twisting. You need some help. That's Holgate number 19. Good, good check there. They recover though. 13 left on the shot clock. Jeffries. There's the pick. He's inside. This is good. Save Stowe. Everything about the final shot there. Lovely pick and roll. Just didn't get the final shot. That was Gabe Barry with the final shot. Build up was good. Execution. Next time. I'm sure he'll slot it. Still heads on the attack. We, we have a pen with too many men. Someone will be serving time. Oh, 
The ref's just going to work this out. Yep, too many men. Someone has to serve time there. Minor penalty. Fernando coming across to serve. Be a two minute minor penalty released if the Steelheads score. The penalty box is this side, it's the camera side of the floor, so you we're looking at the bench side. Here we go. Right, what the sir has got man up. Watch Groves in the middle. That's Al Hazel and, Al Hazel and Inga Clark are on the right side. Perry is on the left side. Groves is in the middle. Patient build up. Shot clock, ball's going there, from the Cats. Alright. They're, they're a man down, they've got to kill this, just try and keep possession for the 30 seconds. Just kill the clock. That's good play from the Thundercats. That was the, almost the whole 30 seconds she was up there. No drama. Get the defence out. Settle up. Hold firm with another man down. Thundercats have got their big ball. Oh, that was a cheap turnover. Went back over the half. That's an over and back. It's a turnover. Thundercats ball. Got to pause the game clock has stopped, so we've just got a quick pause here. Okay, we've got one minute twenty left in the period. One minute twenty. Thundercats are still man down. Ten seconds left on the Thundercats penalty. Al Hage with the ball, eight five with the Steelheads. Down to Ingham Clark. Back top. Over to Perry, Al Hage, Ingham Clark. Shots just wide. Uh, Steve has come up with it. Al Hage again. The penalty is now released. We're back to five on five lacrosse. 30 seconds left on the quarter. Just wide. There was no whistle. That was a live ball. For a moment there, both teams fell asleep. One second on the shot clock. Right, 10 seconds. <laughs> that is quarter time. Thundercats, five. Steelheads, three. We'll be back in two minutes.
Before the second quarter starts, I can confirm that uh, number 84 for the Steelheads is actually James Small. So on the programme, he's uh, number 4-0, but he's wearing 8-4 today. That's James Small, number 84. Right, second quarter action. Thundercats Fernando getting his helmet adjusted against uh, 42 Pete Smith from the Steelheads. These guys play against each other in, in the domestic field season. Fernando Raptors, Smith with Cheltenham. Second quarter action, here we go. Great work there from Jeffries, battling for that, that's good work, inside, no. Steelheads ball, down with Perry, 8-8. Eight, eight. Al Hage, Ingham Clark. No, in fact that was, that was Farrah. Good opportunity there. Sander cuts down with it. That's oh, nearly connected. Back with that age. Top centre to Perry, 8-8. Eight, eight. Still has Caro with Groves on the righty side. Flick inside to Powell. There was an opportunity there, but retain the ball, don't want to give it away cheaply, but they definitely had an option there for a fast break. Good spin from Leach, inside, good, good save, good save Stowe. We have a whistle, but we're playing on. Groves around the back of the goal. Cre no, Crease, yep. Let's have a quick look at that. I'll describe the action as we go along. Oh, there's a goal. 
Thundercats have scored while we were looking at the replay. See if we can catch that goal. Yes, we should catch it. There it is. They've got to get the ball out a bit quicker than that. Yeah, refs be quite cool. They've got to get out quick in box. No holding. It's going Thundercats. With Leach, top centre. To Powell. He can't get pushed over half. That'll be an over and back. He's done well there. Down to Jeffries. He's in. Off the post. Tossed into safety. I don't think Leach appreciated running all that way, but he's got it. Walk it back up the floor. Power around the back. Chris is going still heads. Bocker came down with it 9 2. Balls on the floor. Al Hage collects. Thundercats player hit the deck. That was Stothard. Shout if he just fell over. I think there was a push in the back there. Just a turnover. No send off for that. Still heads back on the attack. Uh, Thundercats back on the attack with Howard. I thought he was going to shoot through traffic then. Jeffries. He's done well to hold on to that. No. Oh, hang on. No, no call. No call from the refs. There's a shot clock violation. It's going to go steelheads. See what the refs are saying. We've got Howard going to the box. A delay of game called against the Thundercats. It's Johnny Howard taking that penalty for the Thundercats. Still heads on the man up. Withingham Clark into the corner, into the middle. Groves is the middle. Shot and a save and a shot, new shot clock. Perry on the left side. Top centre save off the off the off the legs from Taylor. New shot clock. Another one from another save. Triple saves there from Taylor. He's had a good start today. Right. Thundercats are just looking to kill the penalty now. It's in the corner. Can't quite see it. We've got another penalty. It's going against Steelheads. Ian Murray. A major penalty. Boarding. Wow. Ian Murray takes a five minute major for boarding. Ten minutes left in the quarter, so he's going to be out for the half of the remaining of this quarter. On a major penalty, it's only released after two goals. There was a legal contact, balls going, steelheads. They're on the penalty kill, they're on the penalty kill for five minutes now. P 
Perry just taking it into the near corner here, just in front of where I'm positioned. Back to Perry. Ten seconds on the shot clock. That's going to be open back. Thundercats ball. Leach, top centre. Down to Powell, back to Leach. Save, Stowe. Oh, pick up the ball, back to the Thundercats. Pete Shepard just paused for a second there and... Oh, there's a goal. Nice finish. I think that was 16. Schilt. With the goal there, 16 Schilt. Still had still a man down and there's a major penalty being served. Thundercats score one more and one, one more it will be released. There's a chance with Perry straight to the keeper's chest. Leach bringing it over, pressure from behind. Now let's see they should just get set up in defence now. Ah, oh, there's five on the floor. Why is there five on the floor? That should the ref should see this. The refs didn't they got away with that. Still heads got away with that. They had five defenders on the floor. They are still, still serving a major penalty. Refs have seen it now. They will need to serve another penalty as well. Matt Marshall on the, thun on the Steelheads bench not, not happy with that, but they have five players on and they're serving a major penalty, so they only had to have four on. Now they're down to five on three. Josh Carr is serving this minor penalty for the too many men. Five on three lacrosse, here we go. Back up to the top. Goal. Top shelf, top corner of the goal, nice finish. But Black Wales had too many men on again, but that was cancelled by the goal. So, when we restart, Steelheads should be still one man down. Referee and coach just working it through. Another player going to the bench, to the penalty box. Greenbergs. Okay, it's five v three lacrosse. Thundercats come up with it. All stop. 
across to Holgate, back to Powell, Jeffries, Powell. Oh, good save, Stowe. Fancat still got it. Off the frame. No over and back if it hits the frame. Still a Thundercats ball. Powell, 23, top, top centre. Jeffries, back to the top centre. To Powell. Oh, Leach was open on the post. Good save, Stowe. Groves just going to sit in the corner there. Just going to kill this time. The first penalty should be up soon. Shot, save, Taylor. And the reset. Coming down with Holgate. He's in. No. Pick wheel out. The 5v3, they should be no, don't want to give the cheap ball away. Shot from outside. Got to start moving the goal, I think. Stowe can be set for those rips from top centre. Get the ball moving side to side. Get him going post to post. Opens up the goal. That's going to be open back. Steelhead's ball. Al Hage picks it up. We have a reset. And one first penalty is released. Still he's back to four. But it's still five. It's still man up off lacrosse. Still 5v4. Second penalty's gone. We're now back to full strength. 5v5. Still heads ball. Coming down with Parker. Grinsbergs. To Perry. Need one more play on the floor. They've got a full complement of five fronts on there. Ingham Clark down to the righty side. Shot save. Taylor. Strain to a stick. We have just over four minutes left in the quarter. Keeley on the ball. Across to Jeffries. Schiltz. Across to Barry. Back to Jeffries. To Keeley. Two seconds on the shot clock. Steely's ball. Dave Groves coming down with it. Someone's got to close on him. They finally closed on him, but he got the shot off. Shield with the ball, Bristol player to Jeffries. No, sorry, Powell. Back to Leach. To Howard. Goal. Ball came up to to Leach, top centre. Keeper's going to want that one back, I think. Back up three minutes in the period. Three minutes. Steelheads come away with it. That was Jules Bocky there, doing good work. Just someone pick someone in the back for your sub off. That's the good lacrosse. Farah, 8 3. Need to see more of him in offence. Oh, they're chasing sticks. Don't chase sticks in box. Cross checking can say, and that's what 
England coach Walt always says, and it works. Chasing sticks, they'll run around you. Powell from outside, just wide. Parker. He slipped. He's getting over. He's got it over. Oh, just escaped the reaches of England Clark there. Thundercats have the ball. Coming up to the final two minutes of the period. Look to swing it. Someone's lost the stick. Pick it up again. With power. Shot clock. About three seconds on the shot clock. Toss it in the corner. Good decision. Get the defence on. Steelheads come down with it. With Al Hage over to Perry. Yeah, the Thundercats have got six players on the floor. The refs have seen it. Shot goal. So even with six on the floor, they couldn't stop that one. Outside rip, nice. So let's come up with it. Al Hayes is taking his time, get the offense on to Perry. We're coming up to in, coming up to the minute left in the second period. Back to Ingham Clark. Across to Monk. Goal! Goal, Ingham Clark. We have 50 seconds in the period. I think the shot got deflected. Easy save there for Stowe. 30 seconds in the period. That's a reset off the goalie. Farrah, Farrah, come, Farrah will eventually come up with it. So they're coaching on Clark. Oh, that's an easy pick off. Oh no, Perry's picked it up. This should be the last possession of the, of the half. 12 seconds left on the clock, shot on the game clock. And there's a goal. Seven seconds left in the period. Let's see, this was, uh, I think it was Groves. It was. Nice spin, nice shot. Right, so we've got seven seconds. That's plenty of time to win a face. Get down and score. It's out. Steelheads come up with it. And they lose it. Howard. One-handed. There's there's the clock. Right, half time. Thundercats. Nine. Steelheads. Six. Half time's twelve minutes. We'll be back shortly.
We're on for the second half. Leach with the ball. Down to Allsop. Back up with Jeffries. Oh, sorry, Powell. Steelheads. Oh, there was a shot clock violation anyway. It'd be a Steelheads ball. Jules Bocky bringing it down. Farrah 83. Groves in the middle. Oh, he could have done better there. He's all alone. He had lots of time there to lay that shot off. Steve has come up with it. There's a shot clock and there's a penalty. There's a penalty. Cross check. That's Dale Haxton with the cross check. For the Thundercats, 21 Haxton seeing two minutes for a cross check. Steelheads, man up. To Perry. To Monk. Al Hage. Perry's in. Save. Perry regathers on the lefty side. Should just swing it. He does. To Monk. Back to Perry, back to Alhage. 30, 12 seconds on the shot clock, no rush yet. Good, good save, Taylor. Groves there was just oh, setting up a screenshot there. Groves plays that middle, man in the middle role for England. Diving shots. Still picking up, got 17 on the shot clock. Ingham Clark shot, goal. Rob Ingham Clark with the goal. That will release the penalty. There it is. Straight through Fernando. Keeper unsighted. Good goal. It's a two goal game. Heads ball. The penalty was released from that goal. It's 5v5 lacrosse again. Someone's got to close him down. You can't let him walk in like that, and there's a goal. I think that was Dave Groves again. Yep, walked in. Straight down the middle. Still has come out firing in the second half. It's a one goal game. Thundercats ball, illegal procedure by the Steelheads. Ball stop has it. He should get up and get off. No, he's staying in offence. Jeffries, 22. It's a pal. Loose pass off the boards, balls on the floor. Still heads ball. Good running there, Grinsbergs. Camden play up. Shot deflected, or blocked in fact. Still heads 
Steelheads come up. Uh, Thundercats come up with it. Here's Howard. Frantic few minutes here. Neither team's really getting settled possession. Hughes on the ball. Dutch international, Jan Oscar Hughes. Goal. I think the sheer power of that got it through Jack Taylor. Just ripped. And there's a timeout. Thundercats have called the timeout. That's the first timeout of the half. Timeouts are 45 seconds in box lacrosse. Each team gets two timeouts, uh, no, one timeout per half. I think that was a, a timely timeout there by the Thundercats. The uh, Steelheads were getting a bit of a run there. Scores are now tied. Box is often a game of momentums and swings and runs. Okay, we're back on. The Golly Geller out. Ian Murray picks it up for the Steelheads. 97, strong runner. Outside shot. Saved by Taylor. Fernando's having trouble picking up. Oh, we've got an injured player. Yeah, he looks... I don't think there's anything permanent there. That's just a bad knock, but maybe he'll rest for a bit. Keep an eye on If six comes back, let's hope he can get back on the floor once he's, uh, once he's got his breath back. Okay. We're back in. We have a face-off to restart the play. There was no clear possession when that injury happened. Pete Smith against Andrew Fernando in this, uh, in this near corner. Uh, ten minutes left in the third period. Game is tied. Let's go. Borderline hold there, but the ball did come out eventually. And Thundercats have it. That's Holgate coming down with it. Oh, that's an easy, just cheap turnover. There's enough defence there. We should just wheel, wheel around, wait for his attack to get on the floor. Louis Allage there, American. He's played a fair bit of box in the States. We're going to increase violation. And we've got a, we've got a cross check. Uh, Asik Schiltz taking, taking a, Taking a minor penalty for a cross check. 16 from the Thundercats. This is a chance for the Sealheads to, to get the lead. Ingham, Ingham Park number three. Starts with the ball, top centre. Down to Perry on the left side. Monk. Al Hage. To Groves, shot. Keith straight at the keeper. Keepers were so much padding. A hundred, a big shot. If it get, it's got to be accurate. The keeper's just going to gobble it up if it's at the chest or at their stick. Got to find those corners. Right, Thundercats. They're on the penalty kill. Just a case of running around. 
These are often called the raggers. Run around, kill the clock. We've only got six, five seconds off the clock. They've done a good job here killing this, killing this shot clock. And they get a reset. But Stowe's got it. Nearly worked out perfectly. But the Steelheads are back in. al with the ball. Up to Groves. Back to al -Hage. Perry. Back to Perry. al on the back door. Watch that. Shot straight at the keeper. al was in a good position there. I thought he was going to get the cross crease pass. But he's picked it up. There's Paul. There's a goal. A goal and a big collision. That was that was Al Hayes. Let's have a look at it. Yes, scored the goal. Took the hit. Walked away. Happy man. So Steel, uh, Steelheads take the lead. Having a few problems with the game clock today. It's about minus two in this building. I think the uh, the cold temperature is affecting the game clock. But we're back up. We've got eight minutes left in the third period. And Ron, it is about minus two in here. We are dressed up like it's winter because it is winter. Not cold on the floor. Oh, they are going to be it's hot and sweaty stuff out there. Right. Groves has it top centre 17. Bobby work, Ian Clark working inside. This is a good movement from the Steelheads. Let's get a few more zip passes. Shots, Perry. Aubrey all over him, possibly holding him. Yes, he was holding him. Charlie Albury is going to take a minor penalty for that. He's not unaccustomed to seeing the penalty boxes, Charlie. So this is a two-minute minor penalty for holding. Steelheads have the ball. Alhage, top centre, down to Monk. Swing across to Alhage. There's a shot there. He's pinged that top corner. Look at this top corner shot. This was an absolute bullet. Boom. Good work. Thundercats with Keeley picking up. He's wriggled out. He's checks, checked. Well, still had come up with it in the end. Throws in the middle. We got the shots off. Thundercats bring it away. Keeley's wide open. Goal. How did he get that open? Let's have a look. He just broke up field. And the pass all alone. 
found the corner. Thundercats back within one. I think as this game goes on, we're going to see more and more transition goals. As players get tired, you just get that extra few seconds, a quick transition, quick goals. It's a clean face off for the Thundercats with Leach, with Jeffries, oh, good save there, Stowe, from, uh, from Jamie Powell there. Steelhead's come away with it. Over to Ian Murray, to Sam Perry. It's a shot, deflected off uh, Fernando. Here comes Schlicht. Off the post. Good over there from Schilt. He's a defender for his field team and a long stick defender if a field for Bristol. Doing that at both ends today. Jeffries, lefty, on the lefty side, up to Leach. Back to Jeffries. Got smothered there. Refs calling, calling a slash. Ian Murray getting called for a slash there on the on Kai Jeffries. <laughs> Steeler's not happy, but Ian Murray taking two minutes. Ah, oh, he's called it for a cross check. Still a minor penalty. The call for a cross check. Okay, Thundercats, man up. <laughs> Powell and Jeffries working up the top. There's an early shot. That's way too early to shoot in a man up. Leach picks it up. Back to Powell at the top centre. There's another one. Hit, the, hit Emma. She's okay. Leach. Recovers. Ten seconds on the shot clock. There's a reset. That's what the Thundercats wanted. A whole new 30 seconds. No rush now. They can work a good man up shot. What have they got? There's action in the middle. Looking like a little wheel. Shot. Another reset. Another 30 seconds. Are they going to make this pay? This time, Jeffries airs the goal. They had nearly a minute and a half of uh, man up there. Finally make it count. Kai Jeffries, lefty. Bang, bottom corner. We have a tied game. Uh, just over four minutes left in the period. And we're there to wriggle out of that pressure. Farrah to Perry to Monk and to Alhage. Oh, Schilt came through. Now he's got it checked. Ball's on the floor. He's coming up with it. It's Thundercats with Will Allsop. England defender also part of the goal winning England team from this, this past summer in Hanover temporarily dropped the ball Thundercats have got it wide shot should be a Steelheads ball it is an o'clock shot violation Steelheads can retain that closes in and there's a goal no it's a crease violation Goal chalked up, chalked off. Oh, 
have to look back at that one on the tape later to see if we could see that crease violation but it was almost on top of the goalie so the refs are in the best spot to see that there's a diving shot save Ben Stowe nearly a breakaway as well I see Ian Murray battling for it he's pushed the floor no foul there oh now the rest blown it's going to be just a loose ball push no he's he's taking time oh it's Charlie Aubrey again I said he liked the box takes a two minute minor for a cross check Just uh, two, two minutes 40 left in the quarter. Two minutes 40. Perry across to Alhage. Back to Perry. Oh, just couldn't quite scoop that one up. There's a shot there. No, reset. Plenty of time. Monk taking on his player inside. Good defence there. Good defence. Back to Perry. Solid check on the gloves. Shot just wide. Two seconds on the shot clock. That's the shot clock. Thundercats ball. Now they should just be patient here. No need to push it. They're a man down. Get the raggers out there. And there's the shot. With Stowe the goalie. Who's dropped it, but that's fine. And again. Thundercats ball. Well, the action hot on the floor. It definitely is getting colder in this building. So it was about minus two when we arrived, and it's definitely got colder. Oh, that's a loose one. It's going to be a steelhead's ball. Is a quick one on? There is 84. Ah, that's good play. No need to push that. Behind the goal, we're looking for a dunk. Doesn't fancy it. Groves wants a shot. Good save, Jack Taylor. Wave, Dave. Wave release. Oh, Fernando's open. Oh, good save. Oh, that would have made his day. Vess got his hand up. There's a penalty coming. Going to be against the Thundercats. And we're inside the last minute of the third quarter. We've got two penalties being called here. We have a whistle with 42 seconds. The refs are having a check. We may have fouls by both teams. Right. We've got penalty against Thundercats. We've got Kai Jeffries is taking the penalty, number 2-2. Two, two. Let's see what it's for. Right, Thundercats are definitely taking a penalty. Kai Jeffries is heading towards the penalty box. We have 43 seconds on the game on the third quarter. It's cross-checking against 2-2. Thundercats, Kai Jeffries taking a minor penalty for cross-checking. Okay, this is a chance for the uh, Steelheads to go into the uh, into the fourth quarter. Goal up here, 43 seconds left, man up. Oh, well, the mic. 
you're confused, I'm confused as well. We have a steelhead penalty as well. Ian Murray is going in. This should not 5v5 if they were simultaneous. Okay. They've called it two minutes for boarding. Boarding, should, well, that's what they've called it. So, if, if we should be 5v... We should be 5v5 across. Yes, we are. 5v5, 40 seconds left in the quarter. This is the third quarter. Still heads with the ball. Shots. It was from Dave Groves. Came off the goalie. New shot. It wasn't a shot clock reset. Must have just hit just wide. Oh, that's sharp from Dave Groves in the middle. That is sharp work. Have a look at this. Ball came, I think, off the backboard. Off the backboard, first react, Groves in the middle, bang, goal. That's put the Steelheads one up. 18 seconds left in the third period. That's good lacrosse. Here we go, 10, 18 seconds left in the period. Still let's have it behind the goal. Right, they should be looking to shoot. They've got seven seconds in the quarter. They need to get the shot off. Groves has got the ball top centre, flicks to Perry. No, that's gone. But there's quarter time. That is quarter time. Thundercats 11, Steelheads 12. We have 15 minutes of lacrosse remaining. Anyone's game. As we, uh, we've got about a minute to go before the start of the fourth quarter and as I was saying earlier it's a, it's a cold day here in the UK it was about minus one minus two when we arrived uh, late morning it's definitely got colder I'm looking at the, uh, the, the officials bench and Glenn who's our cameraman we all now put our, our woolly hats on uh, I've got to press buttons down here in the commentary area so I can't put my gloves on so bear with me I, if it's this cold next week I'll bring my fingerless gloves right then 15 minutes of action left in this opening game we have a one goal game Andrew Fernando up against Volts Grinbergs for the face Rob Clark getting the ball set here we go final quarter one goal game Thundercats get it. Will all stop. Off to Jorge, out to Leach. Leach, their coach, coach of the Thundercats, number 18. Oh, 
There's a shot and a good save straight off uh, pads of stone. I don't know where they saw it, but it was straight in his pads. Steelheads with Al Hage. There's all oh, bounce pass, cheeky. Oh, good save, Jack Taylor. Dave Groves nearly had another goal there. Back with the Thundercats. Jamie Powell is a whistle. Too many men call against the Thundercats. The refs just reminding them that when they get off, they've got to actually get off the floor. They can't loiter around the go around the door. So uh, it's the coach Leach. He's taking the time. He'll take the two-minute minor for too many men. I think he just needs a rest. He's not a youngster anymore, is uh, David Leach, but he can uh, he can still play lacrosse. Right, Steelheads, man up. What have they got? Down to Perry, up to Monk. Across the righty side, Ingham Clark, Al Hage, back to Monk. Patient build up on the edge. Oh. Jack Taylor with the ball. Just needs to. Oh, he's. He doesn't know he's got 10 seconds to get it across. Well, they got it up there, but it's coming straight back. With Al Hage in the top centre. Someone close him down. Groves. Shot and a save. Taylor. He's had a strong opening game as Jack. This is his. Only his second major sort of box experience. He played the Boxfest tournament back in September, a series of games over one day, and performed well. And He's been absolutely solid today for the Thundercats. Johnny Howard, number three. Little fake, that's his default move, a little fake. How he still gets away with that field, I don't know. Everyone knows he, knows he does it, but he gets away with it every week. Under pressure then from Allsop. He's just wiggled three. This, uh, Thunder, uh, Steelhead's coming down with it. Across Al Hage. Just going to settle down now. Over to Groves, someone challenge him. You can't let him walk in like that. The got up. Groves is their danger man. When he's on it, they've got to be on him, cross checking him. Or oh, we can't let, give him any space whatsoever. There's a shot and a goal. That was Al Hage with the shot and the goal. Just walks in. Yeah, Groves had a nice little seal there, sealed off the player, left a little lane, walked in, and shot. We're back to a two-goal game. Fernando and Smith back at the face. We have 12 minutes left in this game, 12 minutes. We have a timeout. Timeout again with, for the Thundercats. 45 second timeout. Okay, ready for the restart for the timeout. It's a Thundercat ball. The ref uh, talking to the Thundercats bench before we restart here. He's talking to both benches.
While away, I can see the London Knights all dressed in the far corner of the arena. They're ready to come on for the second game. OK, here we go with the Thundercats. Over to uh, Powell. Down to Allsop. Spins, spins. He's probably swing it. Yeah, over to Jeffries. Pick for Powell. Lane over the middle. He's going to shoot. Good save, uh, Ben Stowe. We've got the reset. Leach should collect down the corner, and he has. Over to Powell. Allsop block picking in the middle for him. Back to Allsop. Over to Jeffries. Goal. Have a look. So the ball swung across to Jeffries. Yeah, defender just maybe needs to be a couple of steps ahead of there. Get ahead, get some pressure on. Will be an outside rip. Maybe Ben Stowe would like that one again. Definitely was a good angled shot straight into the corner. Okay, it's a one goal game. Taylor from the Thundercats collects that. Outlets. Nan Fernando's wide open. Buys a chance. Oh, good save, Snow. He went, faked high, went low. Snow wasn't having it. Great save, and that's cheap loss. Cheap turnover there. This is going to be, yeah, it's going to be Steelhead's ball. Just got 10 minutes in the game. It's a one-goal game. Steelhead's with the ball. Groves over to Perry. Perry taking it down low, bringing it back up high, swing the ball to Groves. Inside Groves, shot save, oh, leg save there from Taylor. And uh, Allsop coming down with it. Uh, so we are, we're going to play our second game. It's going to, we're going to slightly condense the game. It's going to be four periods of either 10 or 12 minutes. We'll make that call very soon of the length of each period. As you can see, the two teams uh, are warming up on the floor. We have the London Knights in white, and we have the Heat and Hornets in black. Both teams have, uh, have kept warm. They've got inside the change rooms during the break, and they're very desperate to play, just getting their warm-ups done. Let's walk through the team. So, starting with the Heat and Hornets, head coach Andy Downing, the uh, domestic England box head coach, part of the gold medal winning crew from the 2022 European Championships in Hanover, just gone. So, Andy's put together a, a great bunch here. They've got a lot of, lot of talent, some good youth, some good experience. So, everyone on the team sheet is active today and, and playing. Uh, a lot of England players. Uh, so, the, the England players on the field, you'll see uh, Min Tring, number 12, uh, and Taylor Harrison, number 74. They were part of the gold-winning England indoor team over the summer. There's also players who are part of the England field setup. Previous England nationals, John Arthur, previous international. Uh, and there's players who were also part of the... Uh, the England training squad leading up to the 2022 Worlds including Carl McQueen uh, Kieran Garvey so oh and there's other also national Conor Dockery long serving Irish international and you will see the first female player today the two female uh, women who were un unavailable to play in the earlier game uh, but today number six look out for Jane Lee from the Rockhampton Blues Club, South London. She'll be wearing number six for the Hornets. I'm looking out for her now to see if she's warming up. I can see her in the far corner of the floor. She'll be playing in offense, so keep an eye out for that. Now facing them this afternoon, or now early, getting into the early evening here in in Oxford, England, we have the the London Knights. Now, 
as we said at the top of the show, there's been a late drama, well, not late drama as such, uh, their goalie, Elliot Pugh, England's most capped uh, player. He's unavailable. He's picked up uh, some, an illness over the last couple of days. He thought he was going to be good. Yesterday he messaged me, but uh, he took a, he, he started getting bad again last night. So he is at home. I hope he's watching. He, said, he, has, he has messaged me this afternoon, so I hope that you're feeling better 100% soon, Elliot, and be ready for the, the second game this time next week. So stepping in for the Knights is Ben Stowe, who was playing earlier for the Steelheads. But otherwise, everyone on the Knights team is active and dressed today from the squad list. Uh, so their captain is Will Walker, long-standing England international. They also have current England players Ben Page Laycock. Uh, they have Albert Whitehead. Uh, they have some people who are on the England training squad, Jacob Nichols Cook, uh, and a few others. They've so they've got oh Sean Keane, the Irish international, looking through the squad here. They've got some good young players. They've got quite a bit of speed in their team. Look out for Travis Payne, 27. He should be up and down the floor. Hey, he's a bit of a speedster with the Camden Club in London. Oh, and uh, number four, look out for Evie Stevens, number four for the Knights. Their coach, Tom Roach, is the England uh, box uh, uh, captain. He's not active today. He's still recovering from a, a knee injury. But uh, he, he, he got through the, uh, the, what, the European Championships and then uh, is in now just recovering. He's hoping to think, get back on the field maybe at the end of this season. But he's working with the Knights today in a coaching capacity. We should be starting this game, I think, probably in about 10 minutes. Let the teams have their warm-up. And then I'll confirm the length of the game time. I'll go and speak to the referees now. Right, we'll be starting this game in five minutes. The referees are giving the squads the five-minute warning, and we will be playing four ten-minute periods. Yeah, you're right, 
Okay, here we go with the second game. Hornets versus Knights. Hornets in black, Knights in white. It's a slightly shortened game. It's a four quarters of ten minutes. We're going to run with the running clock as well because we've got about an hour to... less than an hour to get this game done due to the, uh, just the unfortunate delay earlier. But we have players ready to face. Ryan Power for the Knights. <coughs> Up against Sam Cooper for the Hornets. Let's come up with it first. Andrew Code, number 10, top centre. Don't John Arthur just couldn't scoop that. Hornets keep with it. There's a shot, first shot from John Arthur, number 7. Knights are away with it. There's Ryan Power on the transition. Down to Danny Hilton. That looks like Will Walker. 
He should be wearing number six, but Will, yeah, Will Walker's number two off the post. So on the sheet, he's number six, but he's playing number two. Ah, and another change. We've got Jude Krumenuk. He's wearing 17. He, on the sheet, he's 51. I love it when the squad's change jerseys without telling us. By right, Andrew Coe with the Hornets. And Drucker with the top, looking to spin, swings it, John Arthur, off the, off the defender, that's off Alex Graham, 14 from the Knights, blocked that shot. Transition, 10 seconds to get it over, good work there Sam Hewitt. Ben Page Laycock, easily recognisable in the sweatpants. Travis Payne swings it. Nearly over and back, well recovered. Danny Hilton. So Danny Hilton on the lefty side. There's a shot. And it'll be Silas Burke, the other lefty. So Danny Hilton and Silas Burke will be doing most of the lefty offence for the Knights. Ball coming down with, with Ming Tring. Tom Roper, 6'5", from the top centre. Billy Rawlings, number three, look out for him. Hampstead player in London. Very strong field team. John Arthur, number seven. He's played a bit in Canada. He's been put down there. Good work, Ben Young. Hornets come back up with it. The shot clock, Knight's ball. Ryan Power in the transition. Sean Keane to Will Walker. Up against Carl McQueen. Ben Page Laycock's inside. He's been put down. Ball's out. Hornets ball. Sam Cooper brings up. Dishes it off to Andrew Coe. Dishes it down to... Uh, Ollie Olsop, part of the Young England team who were in the uh, under 19 Euros over the summer. <coughs> Paige Laycock on the buy and the blue restart. So, Paige Laycock, what's he got? Taking us man, there's a check there. Oh, Walker was open on the inside, there's a shot off the back wall. Got up there. And it's out of the arena. Loose opener there from Dallas and go. He'll get his stick in and shape in a minute. Shim yeah. McGregor Dallas, he was the backup goalie for Scotland this past European Championships. Balls behind, up top to Walker. Look for the pick. Where's the opening? Paige Laycock good work there on the boards shot clock down to six and the shot and the save Tom Hallam brings it up for the Hornets dishes off to John Arthur John can take his man there He's going low, going high, shot good save Started a good tempo this game. Both teams really going at it. Travis Payne, 27. Ooh. Sam Cooper brings it over over the half for the uh, for the Hornets. 
into Taylor Harrison, 74. Normally plays defence. Looks like he's been given the freedom to do a bit of offence. This will be fun. Andrew Coe in the middle shot. It's a turnover. It's Knight's ball. Sam Hewitt picks it up. Takes it down. Paige Laycock. He should take it down to... Uh, no, back up to Walker, top centre. Walker marshalling the troops. We have a two in the end black. First penalty of the game. Let's see what the Knights can uh, conjure up on the man up. Seb Grant taking the penalty for the Hornets. <coughs> Paige Lecock with it, top centre. To Walker. Back to Walker. Back to Paige Lecock. And there's a shot and there's a goal. That's Silas Burke with the, with the shot. Let's have a look at it. Ball goes to top centre. Just an outside rip. Call that a loose for Dallas in the goal. <coughs> One up Knights. We've got two and a half minutes in the quarter. Bit of a ground ball battle there. Someone's got to pick it up. There you go. Hornets have got it. Good there, good work there. Ming, Ming Train, good work. Sam Cooper with the shot. Ball still in play. Knights retain it. Sorry, Hornets retain it. And there's a rip. Knights ball, Abel Whitehead. Pass down to Will Walker. Time for the offense, oh, defense to get off, offense to get on. Nearly Hollywood. Oh, this is it. Fast break. Number nine. Goal. Fast break. Goal there by Carl McQueen. Picks it up. Scoots around. All on his own. Top right. Lovely. One minute ten in the quarter. One goal each. Knights come up with it. This is good. Good save, Dallas. We're coming down the side with Albert Whitehead. He'll get off. Get the offense on. Down with John Arthur. There's a screen in front of him. He hits straight at it. Oh, Dallas went for nearly... Uh, Hornets goal, he nearly then ran out looked to flatten the guy, but he thought better of it. With Walker, number two. Pick inside, 28 open. Page Laycock's in. Good save. Reset. Back with Page Laycock. Oh, there's a goal. And that's the quarter. That last goal, Danny Hilton, number 29 for the Knights, picks it up, goes around the outside, rips it. Good goal. That's the end of the first quarter. We have Hornets 1, Knights 2.
Right, ready for second quarter action. Right, we're back with it. The cold got to the shot clock, the uh, game clock again. As I said for the early game, it's about minus two or three in this building today. It's uh, very cold here in England today, and uh, this indoor venue has no insulation. But at least we're indoors. There's a good shot there. And Silas Burke picked up by Dallas. Out with Tom Hallam scoots to Tom Roper now to Andrew Coe and to Billy Rawlings that's a chance that's a good goal This goal tied it up. Let's have a look. He's inside. A backhanded finish. Inside corner. Nice. Okay, Knights in attack. Balls on the floor, who's going to come up with it? Looks like the horn, no, it's still loose. There's a shot clock violation, should be going Hornets. And it is. Andrew Co, number 10 on it, spinning. Need some help, there it is. Ollie Allsop, down to John Arthur. To Rawlings. Back to Allsop. Puts the shine and gets the reset. Rawlins will pick this up in the far corner. Someone needs to set a pick on someone. With Allsop. Up to Andruco. There's Jane Lee. Back to. Oh! John Arthur had a good look there on goal. Still holding this ball. No, missed it. Knights have it. James Hook on the transition. He's fallen, but he's picked it up. Ben Page Laycock, great save, Dallas. Sam Cooper, we're now for the uh, Hornets. Casually bringing up the field. 
will let the offense get on. Tom Roper to Andrew Coe, down to John Arthur. Shimmy Shimmy. Save, goalie. New shot clock. Sam Cooper back to Andrew Coe. Tom Roper on this right hand side. Obviously, right for the righties. Left hand side of the field, but this, the righties stay on the left, the lefties stay on the right. All stop working. Andrew Coe needs some help. The pick's there, roll around it. Still battling. Backhanded shot off the backboards. Knight's ball. That was Joseph Leggett there from the Knights. Walker across to Burke. Hilton on the action there. We've got Sean Keane in the corner. That's shot clock violation. Be Hornets ball. This game is going to whiz through. We've got just over five minutes in the second period. So it's a shortened game. First team to get a run of goals, I think, is going to be key for the slightly shorter game time we've got through the second game. Jane Lee doing some offensive work. Number six there. Keep an eye out for her. Rawlins off the goalie. Reset. Knight's ball. There's a chance. One on one. Save. It was Ryan Powell there with the shot. Well saved there by Stowe. No, uh, by Dallas, sorry, in the, uh, in the Hornets goal. We've got a loose ball infraction. That ball's going white, going with the Knights. It's with the goalie, Ben Stowe. Passes out to uh, Travis, Travis Payne, 27. Page Laycock. Sean Keane back to Page Laycock. He needs someone to set a pick for him. That's Burke. Part of the England training camp building up to the Euros. Silas Burke didn't make the final squad but played a big part in that training program that ran over their year leading up to the Euros. Good work there by Page Laycock. Battling, battling, but Hornets have got it. Andrew Coe's easy for the outlet he'll just walk it up the floor no rush get the offence on down with John Arthur shimmy shimmy needs to swing it now he's still got it and Knights have it on the breakaway yeah here's a chance it's Albert Wyatt oh that's a good save that was Albert Whitehead to Will Walker and the, the shot well saved by Dallas. Hornets back in attack with Andrew Coe. Down to Tom Roper. Cross to Allsop. There's a shot. Roings backhanded off the backboards. Should be a Knights ball. Number four, Evie Stevens getting in the action. No over and back because it was the Knights player brought it forward. Back with the Hornets, John Arthur. Tom Roper. Billy Rawnins. Back to Roper. Andrew Coe. There's a pick there. Maybe a little bit excessive, yeah, a little bit of an excessive one, just a turnover. Knight's ball, this. A few whistles here. Just coming up to two minutes in this second period. It's a tied two all game. London Knights in white on the attack against. Pete and Hornets in black. 
over to Paige Laycock, down to Walker. Walker inside. Needs someone to set a pick for him, get him an open lane. It was a little bit too delicate that pass inside. Hornets have grabbed it, moving the field. They're, they're open. This is in. It's on. It's on. Good save. Shot there from Tom Hallam. End to end stuff here. Ryan Power, 33, on the ball. Good pick up there by Danny Hilton. Paige Laycock. It's like up spinning, twisting, getting the shot, and save there, Dallas. Coming up to the final minute of the quarter, Sam Cooper bringing the ball up for the Hornets. Should be two more possessions of this period. Whatever happens, the Knights should get one more possession before the end of the quarter, and they're going to get it. We've got 40, 43 seconds on the clock. They don't need to rush this, but there's a... Oh, there's a chance. There's a goal. That was Jude Krimenuk, a young uh, Spencer player. Let's have a look at it. They just got the jump in the transition. Yeah, he's all alone. Finds the corner. We're almost going to run out of time. We've got a running clock on this, on this particular game. <laughs> and that is half time. Hornets two, Knights three. Back in about ten minutes. During half time, I'm, I'm just pitch side with Russ Farah playing in the early game. Obviously, the early game finished uh, just before it finished because of the injury, but one goal game. What a great, how, how was the game for you? Uh, it was really good. It was quite stressful, quite tough, and the fact that it was anyone's game right up until the last, up until the last play that we had uh, could have gone any way. But I think both teams had a lot of good players, a lot of good players, which was all you can ask for in a box game, really. It was not fun. And this game, it's a, it's a 3-2 lead currently to the, I think it's to the Knights. No, no yeah, 3-2 yeah, lead to the Knights. Uh, what stood out so far for you this first half? There's been a lot of transition goals, and I think as both teams get more tired throughout the game, it'll either get better or get worse. However, I think there will be a lot of, it's, it's going to be the same, it's going to go the same way as the previous game. It could be anyone's, uh, could go to any team. I You're calling a one-goal game, yeah? One or two. I don't think it will be... Uh, but yeah, one or two. I think it will be close, for sure. All right, thank you, Russ. Cheers. So we're we're going to restart slightly early, than I said, so because we've got a slightly less condensed game, we're, we're restarting the second half in just a few moments. Right, second half, let's go. Ryan Power for the Knights, up against Seb Grant for the Hornets. Oh, here comes the ref. Here we go, one goal game. Good pick up there by Sam Hewitt. He's got a chance there. Good save, Dallas. He's still got it. We've got a whistle. Whitehead bringing the ball up, up the floor. Good pressure there. Good pressure there by Hewitt. Ball's down. This is a loose. See who's going to come up with that. That's going to be over and back. It's going to be a Knights ball. Uh, 
Uh, sloppy there by Hewitt. He could have just left that. Didn't need to pick that up. It was an over and back. Arthur's got it. Hornet's going to just calm it down. He's inside. Four to oh, good goal. Ollie Allsop with the goal. You can see him coming down. He sets the pick on, on Albert Whitehead. But then he's all alone inside. The defender nowhere near him. Good stuff. <coughs> We're all tied. Three apiece. And Druko comes up with it for the Hornets. Stop with the ball, number 14 for the Hornets. Down to Andrew Coat, just, just dropped it. All stops wide open on the far post. Payne comes away with it. Plenty of time to get over. He's still going to make it quick though. With Paige Laycock. Back to Payne. Burke there with a the lefty shot. One, two, three. Taylor Harrison bringing it over. Yeah. yeah, he'll transition off, get the offence on. Arthur's open off the, I think that was off the shin. Is off the goalie, it's still going to be a Hornets ball. Came off the goalie's shin. With number seven, John Arthur for the Hornets. Over to Cooper. That's a good pick up, good pick up there. Len Khan picking it up. Ben Young. I was playing with Ben earlier in the, uh, a few months ago in the tournament in Lille. Box Mania tournament. Playing for the Capitals. All good fun. Walker on the ball. It's a Paige Laycock. It's a Back to Walker. There's the shot clock violation. It's a Hornets ball. Andrew Co coming down the floor with it. Up against Sean Keane, they'll both probably sub and oh, Andrew could have split to the middle. He's inside, no angle. With John Arthur, he needs to get back to the right side of the floor there, that's better. He's now where he needs to be. Good defence. Sam Hewitt there, strong D against... Yeah, it's a Knights ball. Whitehead bringing it forwards to Walker. Down to Krimenuk. Long range rip. Hornets ball. Just over five minutes in this third period. Just over five minutes. Andrew coming down the floor. Hornets getting themselves set up. There's one more player to come on. Now they've got the full five on there. He's in. Good pick there. Open up the space. Goal. Numbers. So you see that here comes the pick. Opens up the lane. Inside. Goal. Nice work, Hornets. Let's come up with it. He's uh, on the floor, but he's got the shot off. Four 
4 minutes 20 in the period. Ball stop on the ball to Andruco. Jane Lee getting physical in the middle, which is good. There's Jane over to Allsop. Inside, Andruco, goal. Let's see that again. So, Lee passes the ball down to Allsop. Spins around. Andruco's on the he's on the far side of the crease. Got it in just before he stepped in. Good goal. Let's come up with it. Over to Payne, down to Walker. There's the pick inside. Less than 10 seconds on the shot clock. Hornets. Two against two. Safe, safe by Stowe in the goal there. Two against one. Knight should pick up, should come up with this, and they have. They got three against one here. <laughs> goal. <laughs> Great transition there. Goal, goal there from the Knights. So they win the ball back in their own half. Pass up. We've got a 3v1. Thought he was going to make the pass actually. Held his nerve, scored. <coughs> Just under two minutes in the period. Black holding the ball on the face. It's a white ball, Knight's ball. With two, the captain Will Walker. Paige Laycock. Back to Paige Laycock. Down to Walker. Inside. That nearly opened up for Paige Laycock then. Nice little move between him and Will. There's a goal. It's been given. Paige Laycock there, spinning, he's got the ball, good physical play, roll on the inside, finished. Knights on the attack again. Ah, oh, pass just went astray. We're inside the last 30 seconds of the period, third period, last 30 seconds. And Truco comes up with it for the Hornets. He's all on his own. All on his own. Here comes his help. And that is quarter time. We have a tied game. Hornets five, Knights five, one quarter remaining.
Just do a just do a minute from here on in, yeah. <laughs> just, just, just do a minute from give my solid dog the rest of the time. Yeah. So just like the previous game, I think this is going to come down to the wire. The previous game was a 13-12 win for the Steelheads over the Thundercats. <coughs> We're currently all square at five apiece. Right, coming up to the start of the fourth and final period of game day two, the final game today in the opening game day of the Winter Box League. Scores side. Ball's out. Should be Hornets. And it is. Good work there. Paige Laycock. Ball's out of the arena. Who's it going? <laughs> it's going... It's going Knights, I think. No, it's going Black. It's going Hornets. With Allsop to Andrew Coe. Down to Rawlings. Roper. Back to Andrew Coe. Over to Arthur. There's the swing. He's the swing. There it is. Andrew Coe. There's a chance. Good effort, Tom Roper. Good save there. Ben Stowe in the goal. Knights have it. Walker working fine in the opening. Knights should still have this, and they do. Shot clock violations going black. Cooper bringing it down, number 58. Arthur on the ball in the lefty corner. Oh. Had a good look there behind the goal. Didn't quite connect. Knights break with it. It's a two against one for a moment here. They're going to get a shot. They are. Goal. <laughs> Albert Whitehead with a... Oh. Back on. Didn't see a replay of that goal. Sorry about that. We'll see if we can fix that for when we up when all this stuff's uploaded. But that was a lovely goal by Albert Whitehead. Knights are one up. We have just under eight minutes in this game. Payne bringing it across the half to Keane. To Paige Laycock. Travis, Travis Payne was open for a moment there on the crease. Couldn't quite get the shot off. McQueen has it for the Hornets. Now Andrew Coe. He's through the middle. Good save, Stowe. Hornets recover still. Arthur on the ball, seven. Shots. New shot clock. A 
another save and another reset. Pressure now. Hornets are applying this pressure. Are they going to convert it to a goal? All stop. Still alive. Arthur's going for a dunk. No, he's not. He thought better of it. He turned the corner. Good save again. New shot clock. But Knights have got it. And there's a breakaway. Oh. Knights 14. Alex Graham nearly the breakaway then. Andrew Co. No, Hornets. Back in offense. There's a goal. to the face tied game less than six minutes in this game we've got a penalty we have Andruco for the Hornets is seeing penalty time This could be pivotal. So there's a good five minutes left, but it's a minor. It's a minor penalty. Two minute minor. Knights. I think this is the first uh, man up of the of the game. Let's see what they can dial up. Paige Laycock is going to start with it. Top centre. To Will Walker. I think they're looking for a righty shot here. Goal. Goal. Ben Page Laycock. Puts the Knights 7 6 up. And that releases the penalty. Back to 5 on 5 lacrosse. Coming up to 4.5 minutes in the game. the film this game is probably going to have to be called very very soon because we are out of time so We are out of time. This game is now a finished game. It is a Hornet 6, Night 7. Thank you for watching game day one of the SBL Winter League. We will be doing this again this time next week. See you then. Goodbye.